hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so what i'm going to be doing is a pick a stone or you can pick a stack or pick a card whatever you want to call it okay so this is going to be your faded life your destiny and what what your challenge is and i will be pulling um tarot cards as well as a couple more oracle cards within each pile so i will give you some time this is power one two three and four one two three four hello pile one so if you pick this pile with this stone here so the message here for spirit okay so we got um the earth school and you can see in this card where she's just like diving in okay and i feel like this is it says life lessons soul growth study higher learning so this is what's faded okay and with this card i do feel like that you're you know you've came here to either ex to expand your knowledge or you know um to teach as well because we have the healer and this is Archangel Raphael. And, you know, with, um, you could be of a higher, higher degree, okay, in um, counseling, in um, therapy, somewhere where there is um, to expand your truth, expand your knowledge, okay, to really enforce um a true nature come to come out of your life of your success okay but it's also stating that with the dear spirit here it says bring a gentle touch and with healing i feel like for some of you you could be a nurse okay um or a teacher um and also what i'm getting here is communication this is your throat chakra here so it's telling you to be more clear whenever you speak um, what it is that you want to manifest in your life okay and i feel like being gentle with others and being gentle the way you um you know whatever it is that you're starting to manifest within the spiritual within the spiritual realm into the physical okay so you're being called to ground these energies and um with that comes in a great healing okay for some of you you could be going through um a sense of maybe some sort of i want to say just like a small cold okay <laughs> for some reason and you know spirit wants you to know that you're getting through this especially with the healing card you will have success okay whether it is from a small cold or just wanting to realize you know that you're on the right path here okay spirit wants you to know that you need to communicate more clear you could be mirroring somebody um this is a reflection of your own self and what needs to be healed will be presented to you this is something that you came here to earth to feel to learn okay and to express not masking anything okay with the seven of swords here this is you could tell he's wearing a mask here this is and taking that sword out of that stone so this is really you know um taking that mask off and facing all your fears okay that you may be holding whether it is in relationships, um, love, um, speaking your truth, whatever it is, Spirit wants you to know that you're being killed at this time, okay? And um, you have to do the footwork though, okay? This is an alchemy. This is a healing card. So this is about you creating um, this idea, this inspiration that you've been possibly hiding behind or not only is it hiding behind, but like um not seeing things to its full degree okay spirit is saying go ahead and do this because they're working with you or king joel Raphael is working with you here um 
and you know really it says falling falling into my arms and we have the seven star sisters so the seven star sisters talks about um i want to say this is aquarius energy um if not this i do feel like an air sign so you could be dealing with an air sign um we have capricorn too for a group of you so we have the seven sisters and this is reminding you that you come from a star system uh, a galaxy a family okay um and they're trying to communicate with you um this is about channeling as well but it's about learning it's about bringing that spiritual down to the physical and to mother gaia it says fall into my arms surrender holding the opposite extremes of life this is masculine feminine energy this is fear-based okay you could be holding this fear energy as well as the spiritual connection coming from the stars the universe okay your inner knowing your truth um especially with the communication here i feel like whatever it is that wants to come through um to help you it is a sense of alchemy okay um it says the path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. Nothing is how it seems, okay? Nothing is how it seems. It says, rub your hands vigorously for 40 seconds, then place your hand a few centimeters apart, visualizing a golden ball of light. Focus your intentions on what you would like to create and place this intention into the golden light. Then move your hands towards your heart. Fill your heart, expand and grow full. Ask your higher self to guide you towards your deepest expansion and evolution. And you can call upon Archangel Raphael. Um, and his healing angels to clear congested areas in the etheric body so that the flow of cosmic energy can heal both the cause and the physical manifestation. It talks about having these emotions um, and healing these emotions as well. Um, for health, it talks about um, allowing your body to release deep feelings in ways it wants to, often through movement and sound. So whether you're listening, um, talking to someone, I feel like a sound frequency is what's going to help you heal as well. And some kind of um, working out, um, some kind of movement. Okay, when feelings are suppressed, they stand in, they stay in your body where they are um, originally felt, and that could cause some kind of um, disruption. Okay, within your throat chakra, and that's why spirit is telling you to do some clearing for that, so that you can speak what it is that you want. Because I feel like for some of you, you're hiding here, okay, behind fear, or you you have fear to communicate to someone, okay. I, mean, I feel like somebody is mirroring this to you as well. We have the number seven, very profound, very profound as well as number five here. So with the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like um, this is good fortune coming your way. Okay, um, over fear-based energy as well. Uh, Raphael, Archangel Raphael is definitely a very strong angel and he's assisting um, your spirit guides with a gentle touch to communicate with you and to help you expand your true feelings. Um, not only your true feelings, it's your true desires, okay? It's telling to it's telling you to really evaluate um, evaluate your situation and your lifestyle. And it says, what are you doing to yourself? If you are tired, rest, eat the healthy foods your body needs. If you smoke habitually, use caffeine, alcohol, or drugs, eat junk food, or stress yourself, 
is telling you to go within and ask what you are trying to learn. Go within yourself, okay? With a gentle touch, this is expressing yourself, okay? Towards your inner self. This could be you looking in the mirror, okay? This could be you looking at possibly a twin flame, okay? I feel like if this, if it is over relationships, I feel like they will get better if you use a gentle touch, a gentle touch whenever you communicate to them whenever how you communicate what it is that you desire what it is that you want okay um with them or with your life in general okay yeah you could be, you could be having difficulties within a relationship and it's the way you guys communicate something about communication it needs to come um let's see and it's also calling you to be more creative okay be more creative in how you speak be more creative not only in how you speak but um you know how what words to use with your either your clients um towards other people what are towards yourself okay because whatever it is that you're telling to yourself if you say that you're ugly or you know you're looking in the mirror at, you look in the mirror at yourself and you're like oh man this and that and look out looking at all the negative things it's going to turn out negative so you really need to send out positive energies um towards this person whoever is mirroring you okay you're seeing your faults within them and your fears as well um will start breaking away as you start to identify your true nature um and this is coming okay spirit wants you to know that it's coming to you and it's coming to you in a way that you have been running from it it's saying that you have been running from it you've been hiding um but now it's like divine timing it's time for you to really open up and be successful in what you want spirit wants you to know that archangel Raphael is with you okay is guiding you also you could be dealing with a twin flame energy and this is of a soulmate as well you're seeing each other and communicating with uh, one another grounding this energy into knowing what exactly you want to do with a gentle touch okay this could also be like um the seven star sisters so this is giving birth um and expression and being very creative you're learning something and your spirit is saying go ahead and, and this is your challenge here here is falling into my arms surrender holding the opposite extremes of life so this is a positive and a negative okay um it's telling you to ground this energy the spiritual within your physical okay because you are you could be communicating with your spirit guides um telepathically you could be doing this with another individual as well to help you get through these fear-based energies and spirit wants you to know that it will be successful here you are at a completion okay with a cycle um and you are elevating you are ascending is what i want to say you know the wheel of fortune with um the devil here this is less this is love I feel like one's heart could be of needing um, cleansing as well and you can ask Archangel Raphael to really send in the healing angels to um, open your heart chakra as well as your throat chakra so that you can communicate clear and with a gentle touch okay you will be successful within new relationships as well um, coming out from behind this mask here and seeing the fears that have been holding you back and you can really ask yourself what are those fears is it fear of change 
fear of changing places, changing homes, changing partners, or is it fear of communicating what you want, okay? It talks about being your true self, okay? For some of you, I do feel like you are of a gentle nature, possibly, um, you know what I'm saying, earth signs and air signs, but it could be any sign as well, but mainly it's just telling me that with the seven sisters here, it's birthing this new creation, and to do that, you have to put in the steps, okay? Each day. It gets better and better spirit wants you to know that okay so that was for pile one i hope you enjoyed it thank you hello everybody okay so if you picked um stone to pile two this is a stone here Okay, so we have a deep cellar healing. Let me see. Yeah, this is deep cellar healing, a Taurus energy, a physical and emotional healing. So this is basically, um, you're going through some sort of healing, okay? You have been doing some deep inner child work, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to know that um, messages, okay? I feel like you're going through such a rebirth, okay? Especially with that spirit. So this is coming from the darkness into the lightness, okay? But not only that, it's about like... N and we have procrastination here. So perhaps some of you are putting, have been putting this off, okay? And what you've been putting off is really listening to um, your intuition. Or this could be, you know, listening to your own true self. Um, to thine oneself be true, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to know that there's a lot of stagnant energies here with you, okay? But this is only... But this is for your highest good, okay? And that's why we have procrastination here, okay? So procrastination is needing really to sit down, okay? And make a list about what it is that they feel and desire mostly. Um, what it is you, you know, realize for yourself. This is about making a list. Um, and going off and checking, checking them off. Okay, this is about, you know, getting up, not being lazy. This is about finding the joy within um, the nature. And I feel like Spirit wants you to know that you are a star keeper. Okay, you are here on Earth to, um, you could be finding yourself moving from, you know, um, through different states, living, um, you know, on this, um, like a snap of a finger, you're, you're up and moving, okay, you're going somewhere else, and Spirit wants you to know that that's what you're supposed to do, this is what you've been, um, called to do, or what you signed up to do before you came here to Earth, Spirit wants you to know that, um, it says, cosmic ancestors start, see the light, by staying grounded. So by staying grounded with the um, shadow side of yourself, and I feel like the shadow side is the side that is keeping you back from um, really stepping deep into your, your emotions, or for some of you, this is um, getting past these emotions that you've been holding on to, okay? Um, it says, a soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny's life. So this is basically the destiny right here is that you're looking deep within your emotions and you are healing these emotions by going through this rebirth, this change, okay? Um, you know, bats, they live in caves um, and it reminds me kind of, you know, the Hierophant but also the Hermit 
And uh, with the hermit, it's about finding that inner light within you, okay? And it's about listening to your intuition or just listening to people, period. Um, this is going to give you, is it clear audience? This is about hearing things. You hear spirit. You hear your guides, okay? Um, and we have Archangel Remiel here. You know, in Archangel Remiel, um, it says there's joy in the presence of all angels. There's joy in the presence of um, most helpful people that are helping you see and listen. They're helping you, they are helping you listen. Um, they're helping you hear what spirit is trying to say to you okay because there is messages coming through with the eight of wands there's messages coming through on a higher plane okay um i feel like with the nine of swords you see this energy you could hear them almost this is a time for change a time for joy a, a time to really celebrate this in a way that it starts to cleanse and wash away everything that you've been holding on to from um, areas in your life that just seem to be old, seem to be dull, seem to be mundane. You're moving away from that and stepping into the etheric realm. And with procrastination here, I do feel like for some of you, you've been in this cycle for some time and you're coming out of it. And I feel like for you to come out of this cycle, um, you really have to listen to your intuition, but this is about listening to your intuition and your emotions at the same time, okay? So it's your emotions that are really going to set you free here, okay? Not only set you free, but help you to release a heavy baggage that you've been holding on to. And we have Ramiel here who is definitely helping and assisting you. Um, to find, you know, the all these joyful energies and creative um, energies that are attuning you, okay? This is attuning you. Finding the joyfulness in the... Finding joyfulness allows this energy to flow through you. And you can find this through helpful people through people, through family members, okay? This is your friends, your soul group. Perhaps it is a class, a study, something that you're learning here, okay? Um, whether it's counseling or um, something where you are helping people find the, the joy, okay? Um, within this new phase, this new seeing, this new listening, this new um, air that is coming upon you. So for some of you, you have been procrastinating and putting this off. Now Spirit is saying you're getting all these downloads and you can't run from this anymore, you know? You have to stay on the outside of this, you know, of the figure eight, okay? The figure eight. So this is number eight here and I feel like you're looking into that with this um, energy here. You're looking into that figure and you are remembering your soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. <clears throat> but not only that, you guys, um, so it's, it's telling you to, you know, give thanks and be happy for the things that you do have and also bring joy to uh, the mundane life it brings vibrant energy and it raises their va the, and it raises that energy um, of being dull and not you know just being dull and still it brings movement as you know the water moves the current moves change comes and that's what they want you to do they want you to anchor this this energy um while this change is going so wherever you are in this world holding down being a star keeper okay a cosmic ancestor 
sending the light by staying grounded by giving this rebirth um, and seeing the light through this healing aspect within your emotions you're, you're able to receive all these downloads you know so as you are procrastinating you're you're given these downloads okay within your emotions and you're vi you're visualizing them you're seeing them you're listening to it as well okay you're remembering welcome it with joy welcome this opportunity of knowledge truth vision and life it's all expressed with joy okay so that's what i have for you um also i wanted to tell you pile two that It's like whatever any kind of songs on the radio um, spirit is trying to send you messages and it's telling you to um, say this affirmation I am listening constantly and hear the works words of wisdom loud and clear so spirit is giving you wisdom keep bringing you peace okay um the spirit is also bringing you joy and want you to have this joy within this rebirth and really anchor those energies as you move forward as you move forward we have the eight to the nine so that's procrastination no that's movement um and then we have queen of cups so the queen of cups is exploring one's um, intuition gaining self-knowledge and um, moving that energy around okay so you're basically spirit wants you to know that you're moving these this energy that you are you know accepting from spirit but not only that you're hearing this and remembering it you're listening, you're remembering where you come from as a star seed, as a star keeper, okay? You are grounding that energy and grounding your emotions. That's the main thing for this pile is finding joy within your emotions. And that's why we have Remiel here. So basically, that is what Spirit wants you to, to know. Um, and the main thing here is you could work on your throat chakra. You could also um, work on um, listening to what people say rather than being the speaker. This is a time to listen, to take up whatever it is. People have different opinions and that's okay. Okay, I have number five here and number eight. A lot of you need to make a decision within a lover, um, a connection you have with um, a soulmate possibly. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone is really in their emotions, needing to ground their emotions. Um, and it, Spirit is also saying don't stop her procrastinating what it is that you have to communicate because the fear is and will take over your energy and um, you know cause you to to have this energy of closing off okay and spirit doesn't they don't want you to close your emotions off um, you think it's going don't it's like what are you what are you telling yourself you know you have to tell yourself positive affirmations because otherwise and the people that you hang out with make sure that you listen to how they are speaking and around you and towards other people because that's energy that is vibrating 
off of them and onto you okay and that's what's what you know you're going to be expressing but really right now is that spirit is saying that Ramiel is here to bring you joy okay and to come out of um, procrastination we have two eights here so this is double eight coming out of procrastination and into this rebirthing assurance okay and seeing the light um, but not only seeing the light it's listening and observing and anchoring these energies so that you can this is anchor the fated life within the destiny life okay and this is what brings this portal this you are a portal you are you know and an, a channeler is what I'm hearing especially followed behind listening okay um, yeah so a lot of you are water signs are dealing with a water sign and it's a mental conflict so this mental conflict can be relieved if you just set out your intention to um, speak your truth or to listen to listen to what other people have to say okay and find the joy within changing within this rebirth it's coming in strongly for you guys whoever picked pile two um so yeah the main thing is just listening here to your inner truth and stop procrastinating because i do feel like there's stagnant energy here that needs to be moved okay and um, know that you are anchoring the energy from your higher self, okay, through the star chakra. This is keeping that energy grounded and really, um, you know, going through this whole rebirth. Finding the light, you know, using the darkness as a lesson to be gained and acknowledged. You know, moving away from choppy waters to calmer waters. I'm seeing like around 6, um, 6.39, something like 6.39, a quarter to, uh, a quarter to 7, so it'd be like 6.40, I don't know if it's, it seems like 6.40 in the evening, or it could be in the morning, it just depends on where you are, I feel like one of you will have a spiritual awakening. Um, you will be hearing something from your spirit guide, from your angel. And it's really going to help you get up and out of the water. Because I feel like with this water energy, it's what water is emotion. So it's going to help you get over a loss or a grief or something that has been holding you back here. Okay, so that was pile two. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. So if you chose um, pile three, which is the, the stone, this is your message coming from your higher self, from your spirit, from your spirit guides. Um, spirit wants you to know that you have been in a, a time of, you know, um, not listening to your higher self, so to say, or there is something that wants to really expand, okay? Um... Now, Spirit is saying that you're healing right now from the stagnant time in your life. Okay, so we have the Courageous Peon. Okay, it says, multi-face, unique nature, let yourself be seen. So you have all these ideas, okay, that are coming from the galaxy, 
so to say, coming from the universe, coming from this, from your soul family, okay? Um, and you're getting all this information, okay? As you sit here, this is definitely uh, what's faded, okay? You're receiving all these energies, but you're asking yourself, what am I supposed to do with it? I've gained all this knowledge, okay? And to realize with the King of Swords, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, realizing the truth behind um, your sacral chakra here is definitely in tune or wants to be in tuned with what is happening and what is going on. And now Spirit is saying that with this Jeremiah card here, um, this is the angel that's helping you clear space so that you can start to manifest. And I feel like you are starting to manifest here, okay? All that you have to do, and she's laying here with all this energy surrounding her. And all this energy is coming from the galaxy, the star system that you are from, okay? Um, it's asking you to also pray as well. Um, and to help you clear out space so that more knowledge of your divine plan and divine wisdom is being brought to you, okay? I'm also sensing with the koala spirit, it says spirit has a plan for you, but not only that, there is a sense of needing to um, have this stagnant time, be stagnant, okay? Be still and receive this energy but as you receive it, you're going through this change. And as you go through this change, Spirit really wants you to um, <clears throat> really step into that energy um, of filling that sorrow with the Five of Cups. Filling the, the sorrow, filling the hurt um, will definitely bring truth and High Priestess here is here to give you that wisdom okay give you that divine wisdom now for you to let go of what it is grief so that you can start to manifest your um your your ideas okay it says in the near future in the near future there is this opening this portal so to say and this idea this decision this opportunity is it says wild card doors are opening you decide and then we have the wild card here too with the six so this is communicating your decisions to or communicating your wisdoms that you have learned your ideas so that they can manifest but also this is that wild card telling you to step out of the the everyday the mundane life the um this is this tells you to put on some of that music that you really just feel that energy that vibe with and start dancing to it okay and start moving around and feeling that energy is really going to start to open up this your divine um plan okay also this is like the akasha records um, Spirit is saying that you could go within and bring the Sakasha records up with the High Priestess here. There's truth and knowledge to be seen and to be heard here, okay? Um, to be listened to, to be spoken, um, <laughs> to be spoken. Okay, something is wanting to come through to you in a way, um, whether it is through books, um, whether it is through you would know what it is because you have spent some time within your thoughts within your um mindset okay as the king of swords you revealed some sort of truth all you have to do now is take that leap of faith but to take that leap of faith through that portal which is your destiny is to really step out of the box of the mundane box and into the, is it the spiritual realm, okay? 
Is it um, the grief and the sorrow that you've been holding on to that now you have to let go of with the Five of Cups? Because a piece of that will always be with you no matter what. But it's just letting go of this baggage, so to say, this conflict within your emotions. That's what's holding you back, and Jeremiah is here to help you get over this grief, get over this sorrow, so you can go through this portal of divine wisdom and really ground that energy within this, uh, within the near future. I feel strongly this is for some of you. You're going to break away from something that has been holding you back, um, whether it be a relationship or a, you know, anybody or anything that has your emotions tied up. Spirit wants you to go ahead and release that to the universe, okay? Because there's more plans coming in for you. There's stuff that needs to take place um, in your manifestations. For some of you, there is a manifestation that you particularly want to come to fruition. And Spirit says, yes, we hear you. We have a plan for you. Okay, and you know this. All you have to do is take that first step. And with the wild card here, this is like, you know, do something that you normally wouldn't do. Okay, and I'm not talking about like, I'm talking about being courageous, you know, um, wearing something that you normally wouldn't wear, so to say, not really being provocative or anything just is it expressing yourself through writing okay um through listening to music expressing yourself through um speaking in public it's that energy that is going to vibrate to the universe and that's what's going to bring in your divine wisdom and your divine plan okay and that's what's happening right now with you at this moment um, if you chose this uh, pile three, yes, pile three is about communication and collaborating. So that's what I have for you, pile three. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Hello, pile four. So if you chose this pile, the message here from Spirit is that for some of you, you feel like you are basically losing your grip okay you're falling you're falling there's a coping mechanism here um we have destiny addictions and let god in so this is about finding the beauty okay we have beauty here This is Ioful. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Ioful. So this is knowing your inner beauty and finding that inner beauty within yourself. With the butterfly spirit here, I really feel like a lot of you are going through this huge transformation. Spirit wants you to know that losing your grip is what you're supposed to do okay losing your grip okay stepping into this um sense of feeling sadness okay you have sadness here you have grief you're griefing and you're holding back you know with the five of swords what needs to be said okay um or what needs to be let go of but for some reason here you have this strong determination okay to really balance out and to you know learn okay not only learn but it's it's called earthed okay so it's like this feeling of landing on earth but not only is it landing it's about having this understanding and this determination to bring forth the beauty that lies in you okay spirit wants you to know that this time is yes okay 
we have the yes card here so yes it's like yes this determination these uh polarities are definitely going to balance out okay we have weight here it says it's not it's not yet time things are being woven okay so there is a sense right here for some of you that you've been waiting for some time but as you wait okay as you wait it's like you're you're falling you're falling and then you stop okay and it's like you're stuck in the middle it's like in a sense of being in purgatory okay and you have this strong determination to move beyond any obstacles that come your way and these obstacles are sadness something that you've been holding on to as the loss of someone within the physical okay possibly a breakup but spirit is telling you to really find that beauty within you um and this is you know speaking good to yourself about yourself but not only that it's speaking that out into um your everyday life with other people that you share your um your time with you know this is about um, melting that iciness around your your heart that you've been it's like you you've put your heart away um in somewhat of a cocoon but spirit wants you to know that it's blossoming and that it's growing through this time of waiting you're you're realizing your determination to get over and to you know basically jump over your emotions like these fish here um, you are winning Carrie you're winning at all costs okay and you know that the sadness that you've been carrying within time will be released because you have the determination to hatch out of that cocoon and definitely grow to a beautiful butterfly that you truly are within yourself So Spirit wants you to know that it's yes. If you had a question here and you needed a confirmation, here it is. Yes, yes, yes. Um, learning, how, learning how to be in the physical, in the physical world being, you know, this is like having a human experience. This is enjoying everything about it and having that determination to grow. So there's a time and a place for everything Spirit wants you to know. Okay, there's creativity here. There's a sense of abundance. And we also have the Nine of Swords, which is mental conflict. And you don't have to have that because you are a beautiful butterfly that can fly over any obstacles that comes your way. Why? Because you have determination. For some of you, this is solar, uh, solar, <laughs> your solar chakra needs to be cleansed, or you can listen to uh, some reggae. Uh, reggae. Did I say reggae? For some of you, you like reggae music. It could definitely help you open your solar plexus. Okay, I'm saying uh, reggae. this is for definitely healing um clearing this chakra will will help you see your truth and your divine path because of determination this is like the tower moment here uh it's like you have to get over this sadness this grief and i feel like it's you know a lot of it's been on you for some time Spirit is saying, yes, it is time for you to release this energy. You have been waiting, but it is your destiny to wait. It is not yet time. Things are being woven, okay? Learn how to be human in the world, but not of it. So this is spreading your beauty and your, you know, your grip. This is losing your grip, but you're, you, you have to let go of what it is that you think 
I feel like it, it, it's it's in your mind, okay, for this last group. I feel like whatever it is, it's whatever you're thinking of, you need to let, let it go. Do, practicing some sort of meditation helps you. And do it every night, okay? Um, it's really telling you to um, melt that ice that you have basically put on around your heart. And in order to do that, you just have to send yourself really good love energy and um, good words, good affirmation, good thoughts about yourself. And basically to give gratitude um, brings in beauty and transformation. Okay, so you guys, sorry, um, that's my dog barking in the background. Sorry about that.